Hey, Jason. I, just Kinda. curious how, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Just, just, just curious how last week went for you, how you feel physically, um, and uh, what, it, what it means to you and um, to, for the 49ers to show so much faith in you given everything you've gone through so far. Man, first off, last week was just a blessing, man. It's been a while since I've been out there. Um, had a lot of fun, man. Uh, you know, I worked I work my tail off to get back out there. Um, but as far as just the 49ers organization, top to bottom, man, just having faith in me. Um, you know, training staff, coaching staff, doing a hell of a job of, you know, making sure my body is right. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy to be out there and look forward for, you know, the rest of the season. You said earlier this summer that uh, the, the press coverage was the last thing to, to come around and that you were kind of eager to work on that throughout training camp. Where are you now in terms of, of press coverage? I mean, do you feel like you were, you're back to 2015, Jason Barrett? Man, it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. You know, I, I just feel, you know, week in and week out, you're playing against different receivers, so you're going to get different, you know, releases and things like that. But I just feel, you know, as you go on along the season, you know, your game just continues to elevate, and uh, that's where I'm at now. I'm just trying to elevate each and every week. Hey, Jason, is there any comparison between the way you feel now and the way you felt last year? Obviously, you played in that just one game and it didn't look like yourself. Um, I mean, is it kind of night and day? Yeah, absolutely. It's night and day different. Um, you know, like I said, I give credit to the to the the um, strength coaches and training staff. You know, IRing me last year, allowing me to get my body fully underneath me, uh, just due to the fact with all the injuries that I went through those previous years. So having um, the rest of the season last year, and then you know, with uh, COVID and everything this uh, past spring. You know, it kind of helped me a lot to rest my body and, and at the same time get stronger and get faster. So uh, fast forward to where I'm at now, man, I'm loving where I'm at uh, body-wise. And, you know, I just hope I can stay that way the rest of the year. Jason, was was last year a little different for you just in terms of compared to, like, the other injuries where it wasn't something just completely devastating? You just knew you needed that time? Uh, does that does that make sense, like, comparing it to the previous times where you knew it was, like, a specific rehab? Yeah, I mean, How just, just with the massive injuries that I into with the ACL and then the Achilles, man, it's always, you know, some people say it makes take two years for the, the, the body to fully heal. And um, that's pretty much just what it was for me. You know, I went through a lot back-to-back -back years with ACL, then an Achilles, so I didn't really get the full recovery. So uh, with, with, with this past year, having that and going into this season, man, it was, it was a blessing and a, and, a, and a good boost for me. So I like where I'm at now. Do you feel as if you're you're better suited to to field or or to boundary cornerback? Do you pr prefer playing one versus the other? Uh, well, my career I played. You know, I've always traveled, so I've always played right and left, field and boundary. Um, here, I'm just doing whatever the coaches ask of me. Uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that are banged up and going through injuries, so next man up mentality, along with. Um, you know, being able to play right and left. You know, we did that all throughout training camp, uh, swapping from field and boundary. So it's been a balance to uh, get that all throughout training camp and then now heading to the season. So I feel everybody who's, you know, going to be out there on the field at corner, um, they've all got a feel for uh, field and boundary. So. Jason, you're not the only guy on this roster who's gone through quite a few injuries, has been out for an extended period of time. What do you guys share? Do you guys talk about each other, have this a certain bond? Um, you know, injuries is part of the game. And, you know, it sucks that, you know, see people go through uh, those type of things. But, yeah, you know, like I said, it's just the next man up mentality. And, uh, you know, as veterans that we are in this league and guys that's been around for a long time, they know injuries come with this game. Um, so you always got to be ready. But, um, you know, I hate to see it. Uh, I try to stay as encouraging as possible for those who are out. Um, but, you know, you just – you just got to, you know, step up when another man's down. Jarek McKinnon said yesterday that um, just just given what you guys have gone through, that you guys really clicked, um, I guess, last year when, when you first arrived. How helpful has it been to, to have Jarek? And um, is it, here. does it, what do you can think? you hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Jet, um, yeah, Jet, man, um, it's a crazy story uh, for him and myself. Um, 
I love to see how I, I was happy to see how he was training over the off season, um, you know, and just seeing how you know he he switched gears from where he was the years before, and uh, you know it's a blessing just to have somebody around you like that who's kind of been through what you've been through just because you you're happy to see that next person succeed. So you know how he's been so far this season, man, has been tremendous, man. It's motivating for myself as well. Uh, to, you know, just to ball out, man. That's just that's just part of the story, man. You be able to rewrite history. Last one, Jason. Pretty much all of your teammates and coaches we've talked to. Uh, one of the first things they brought up last week was how happy they were for you. Did you feel that on Sunday? Did they? Did you have teammates coming up to you and you know congratulating you or just you know, sharing that that emotion with you? Yeah, absolutely, man. It was fun just to hear you know your peers. Um, you know, happy for you, uh, the teammates, just because, you know, they seen what it was like for me, you know, at my worst days. They seen me on the sideline while, uh, you know, they were on the, on the road to Super Bowl, man. And it was it was definitely bittersweet for me watching that and also, you know, happy for them, but bittersweet just because of the competitor that I am um, and always wanting to be out on the field and flying around with those guys. So this Sunday, man, it was it was it was everything for me, uh, just being able to be back out there and um I'm just looking forward to doing that, you know, week in and week out with those guys. Hey, Faithful, don't forget to click here to subscribe to our YouTube.